yellow. This is day 34 and day 35, if I'm not mistaken. Currently, I am in my room back in Slovakia, in my hometown where I grew up. So you can see a couple of posters, like right here, which are uh, from when I was 12, I think. So anyway, we're in my room right now. And I want to, first off, recap the last two days of what happened. So, first off, uh, we slept, we woke up the next morning, uh, got ready, double-checked that we have everything, all the little details that we wanted, and then set off, only to find out about two hours in that we forgot the gifts for my entire family, which was, you know, fun. So, uh, we had to figure out a way of uh, what we're going to tell them, essentially, because uh, that was my biggest flaw, I guess, that I always forget things, and then... I got used to just writing everything down. And so I remember that, you know, like, why are you writing everything down? Can't you just remember a couple of things? So I said to myself, yeah, let's let's try and remember. Like, this is the most basic thing. Gifts, presents. That's why, like, we're going there for the holidays. Of course, I'll remember that, right? Right? Yeah. I didn't. So we went to a... A small cottage let's say where uh, there's a restaurant and they sell dairy products and baked goods it's really fucking good so I got a couple of presents for my family and a like pretty gingerbread cakes let's say uh, along with uh, some homemade honey as a sort of apologies that we forgot it which like we thought it was such a big deal that we forgot the presence like that's why we were going there and only after a few hours that I realized hey maybe I'm going there just so I can enjoy the time with the family that's why I am going there and maybe just maybe other people from my family and friends see it the same way that the presence can wait after all it's not like I'm not gonna visit for another year the next month somebody's coming in so I thought to myself maybe you know other people won't take it as seriously as we did because we were wrecked for the next hour emotionally just like why how, how could we forget something so important and it turns out that yes a lot of other people uh like my mom and dad and uh the other family members like didn't think that much of it maybe they, they didn't necessarily say it and they didn't show the emotion so either they're really good at showing that not showing the emotion or they just don't really care about the presence as much as me being there after you know half a year and I think that's quite important to stop by and think about for a little bit that I sincerely appreciate that the older I get the more I see that not only this material and immaterial stuff like uh, forgetting the presence while the best thing is that I'm there to spend I'm here to spend the time with my family but also to think about the fact that a lot of the time we make things in our head to be we make them out to seem a lot more serious than they are so we thought it was like the end of the world how can we come here to my home city and forget all the presents like that's absolutely disgusting whereas it wasn't they never really mentioned it even and, and when we mentioned it, they were like oh that's fine we'll just handle it later no big deal so that was a I think that's quite important to have in your mind at all times that I don't for some goddamn reason our brains really like to think that whatever we think we did bad is really showing and like really serious and you have to be nervous about it because everyone's gonna notice whereas the reality seems to be that everyone's got that so nobody has time to care about your shit because they're dealing with their shit, right? And you never notice it, because it, it works both ways. So I think that that is quite... There's quite a bit of freedom in realizing that you messed something up, and you're scared that everyone will notice, but it's quite possible that no one will, because they messed something up, and they're afraid that you will notice. But you won't, because you're both focused on yourself, essentially. So that's like the good part of selfishness that every every one of us has, I would say. But anyway, we got here. Uh, we 
got the replacement presents, let's say, and we gave it to, we gave it to my mom so far, and we gave her the honey, and we had a good talk. We went went out with my dad and his girlfriend, and she we haven't met her before, so uh, we talk with them, and she's really nice, and he seems different when when he was with her. He seemed different in a good way, like more more open which I haven't seen in quite a while. So that was a nice thing to see. Again, uh, see the other side of somebody. But also, you know, spending time with uh, with my girlfriend and my mom. And tomorrow we're going out to have family lunch, a family lunch with, uh, with her and with me, my girlfriend, my mom, her boyfriend, and my aunt, aunt, uh, aunt, and uh, my grandma. And uh, we're all going to just sit around the table, which is exactly what I wanted as the present uh, for this Christmas. So I'm really happy that that actually got to to, to be realized. Anyway. I think that for today, we're just going to kick it. We've, uh, we've watched a historical movie, and my girlfriend's a real fan of those. But it was a really nice thing. It was quite new and it was local, which is... I was really surprised by the quality. It was about Maria Teresa. So it's... Uh, I forget what her name is in English. But anyway, it was uh, historical about the European court and all that stuff. And they had really nice costumes, which me as a large person... Uh, I was really able to enjoy that. That they put that much effort into the details in it. So I recommend you check that out in case it's something that's relevant to you. Uh, for tomorrow, we're, we're just going to have a nice chill morning. Then we're going to go uh, to have that lunch. Afterwards, I'm going to take my girlfriend uh, around the center of the city to show her around. Because uh, we've been here last winter. But this thing called VKV, those of you who know will know what I'm talking about. Uh, we had strong winds, essentially. And so we didn't get to see that much before we had to run off because it was so cold. But this time it seems that the weather is quite nice. So we're going to take our time and I'm going to show her the historical center. And after that, we're probably just going to stay at home and prepare because in, in the evening, most probably, or at the worst, tomorrow morning, we're going to go to the, the friend's cottage that I mentioned in the last video. So we're going to stay there for, I think, about a week. And there's not nearly enough internet in there for me to upload any videos. So this may be the last video. I'll try to make one tomorrow as well. But if not, the next week, I'm going to go silent, essentially. But don't worry, I've got my mic. Uh, and I want to try and record the first couple of videos and a couple of podcast episodes about D&D &D mostly, uh, a board game. But we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited about it because I love D&D. &D. There's going to be a couple of friends that play D&D &D as well. Uh, two of my friends who actually will be playing D&D &D with me, I think starting February. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll probably have a nice friendly conversation I may link it later, but, uh, you know, I, I tried to keep everything linked. Yeah, so I'll let you know tomorrow or maybe in a week. But if I go silent, don't worry. It's all planned. Other news. Uh, the contract in Czech wrote me back today saying that it was really nice. They instantly accepted the offer for the third time, which is quite strange to me since I always offer them a free retake. So we can do it better. But they said that it was pretty fine. So that was that was really nice. Once again. And also knowing that I can go on the holiday without in the internet. And knowing that the contract is finished. And I don't have to worry about them being stressed about getting the next one or something. So that's really great. And the last thing I wanted to mention. Let's see. I had one more thing. But I'll be honest. I forgot. So I'm just going to say that it's probably nothing too serious. And I'm going to cite it off for now. 
I'm gonna go back to my girlfriend. And I'll let you know how it goes. Because I think the next week is going to be finally that transition from the old into, into the new. And I just remembered. Yeah. So the thing I wanted to mention is that after a long, long time, I got to organize my contacts. Because over the last 10 years, Google has been collecting my contacts. And sometimes they were from uh, a different source. Sometimes they were from one phone, from the other phone. Sometimes it downloaded them from my SIM card. Sometimes it downloaded them from Facebook. And it was just around 750 contacts that were all, all around the place. So some of them had switched first and last names. Some of them had everything in the first name and stuff like that. So... I tried organizing as much as I could, especially the contacts that I'm in uh, in regular contact with. And I set up different labels. I made sure that the important dates are in there, like my family's birthdays. I asked my mom about the years, so I have that as well. And uh, just the general gist of it, just collecting addresses, phone numbers, merging different accounts so they're in a good way, sorted in a good way. Uh, making sure that the first and last name are their actual names and then in the nickname is what I would call them by instead of these all these different like I had five or six different formats and as much as I wasn't looking forward to it and I hated the idea of having to do it once I got started it got so much better and I actually enjoyed the process I also enjoy knowing that I will have it done and now that I have it done it's going to be so much easier to add a new contact because I already know how I want to add it. I spent some time with it. I got accustomed to it. So I really think that being afraid of something is natural, but knowing that after I spent some time with it and get accustomed to it, it's going to feel a lot better to work with it regularly. And I won't be afraid. Before I start... I'm afraid of working with it regularly because I don't know it. But after the initial round, when I know what's where and what, what it means and how it functions and figuring out all the little niches, like, for example, if I have a birthday in my contact, I know that it's going to show in my calendar. If I have their address, I know that it's going to show on the map. It's going to have a little dot and say that this is where this and that lives, which is awesome, by the way. Because uh, it makes all the different functions make sense because you know how they were intended to be used. And with that knowledge, it's suddenly, it's suddenly much more easier and enjoyable to use all the different functions. Because I know how to use them and they work to my benefit rather than to my frustration. So if there's something that's bothering you and you don't want to do it, I really recommend setting aside an hour or two getting tea, making it as enjoyable as you can, spending that free time essentially in that thing and realizing that it, if you want to do it and it has potential, it just needs that first hour. Because once I get, get going, usually it's it's great. And it has been this time again. Anyway, uh, what I'm talking about is the Google ecosystem. Maybe others are much more frustrating. I know the Microsoft one is, so I don't recommend that. Anyway, uh, signing off for today, best case tomorrow, worst case in a week. You can look forward to a couple of podcasts and other stuff where you, hear, where you will hear my annoying voice. So, good night, and once again, enjoy the rest of the holidays.